Okay, you know it's a privilege. It. I promise you, it is a privilege. Uh, yeah, it and is. It, and as a, as a married man, it is a privilege for me to have my wife. I don't stop flirting with her. I flirt with her every chance I get Good. because I want her to understand that I've never stopped pursuing you. It's not over because we're married twenty two years and counting. No, I am pursuing you as though I don't even have you. Because I want you to understand that you're not some piece of meat to be caught. I am chasing you. I am pursuing all of you until death do us part. Oh, that's beautiful. And the chase and that's what we have to. And do. the chase should continue. It should, it should continue, and it should get more interesting. And people say, "Well, how do you not let the fire? Go? How do you keep the fire lit? You don't let it go out when you're flirting with each other. When you when you talk to each other, right? When you spend time, you laugh together, you pray together, you play together. You know, you do all of these things together. There's no I, of all the things that I have to do in the world There's no greater pleasure Than for me to stop doing those things When I have to go out of town And fly to different cities And, and do different things To speak or to sing The only thing that I can think about is I miss my wife and my kids So it's a bittersweet So I, cause I can't wait to get off that plane And get back home and if he's getting off the plane and going elsewhere before he come home, there is a problem. That's, that's a problem. I don't want to stop anywhere else. My focus is, I gotta get home. Oh, Lita Adams said this on Get Here. <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> to get. I'm trying to get a train <laughs> automobile. I, I'm trying to get home. You right, see what I'm saying? Right. And so that's before. That's my first ministry before preaching, before anything, before I can minister to the people. I gotta minister to my wife you and my kids. Here, that's the first here. ministry. Yes, Lord. Everything else comes after that. Everything. Pastors all. All day, all of you, well, whether you women pastors or men pastors, the body, the church that you pastor does not come before your household. That is out of order. That's what that is. Okay, now can we get can we call forth the sum the psalmist? Can you just render something live? I just want them to know who we really who they listening to. That he's more than just getting you straight on what's out there concerning relationship. Jesus loves me this I know For the Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong They are weak But God is strong Yes, Jesus loves me Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so. Well, well, well. I just want you to get a taste because, see, I know. I know. And it was real funny how we met. Uh, It was a a God thing. And I never knew uh, the fullness of who he really was until we we sat at the same table at an event, the yacht uh, club, the black yacht club. Yes, Yes, all white. Yes, and he. he uh, was part of the entertainment and uh, as we just opened up and just started chitter chatting at the table it was a group of us sitting at the table and I learned that he had a book and da 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 and I'm thinking oh my allow me to have you on the show and it was so funny we was we was on he was on a show for music yeah about a CD the first time I had him on the show and it that thing went all over the place I'm thinking did we get enough conversation on that CD because I mean because again he's a passing I don't know how much we talked about it because I think I ended up we ended up going in on conversation so thought we did and it was an awesome show just like this is Um, but it's an awesome thing to be gifted in such a way that um, you can touch people in more than one way and I appreciate God for that you just don't have a clue on how if God have given, but he know who to yeah. gift in these ways. Because had he given me the gift to sing, yeah. oh my God, I, I don't mean, even know if people would get a preach word the way they're right. getting it right now, because okay. I'd be really trying to tune in, uh, <laughs> doing announcements with a song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. And I yeah. don't know what that is, but he know exactly what he's doing, and I appreciate him for that. Listen, let me give that number out real quick, because we, we're winding down, and I just want to make sure everybody, even if you want to call and just let the man of God know how you have ble- he have blessed you. Uh, you've been blessed by listening to what we're talking about on today and it's all about relationships people are torn and not just um, 
you know, male and female, but sibling uh, relationships, relationships with your siblings, friends, uh, and the foe. People just need to know how to build relationships and how to deal in relationships. And um, I'm one that just want people to live healthy, clean, and blessed, peaceful lives. And any way that I can bring information to you that can cause that to be better, then, hey, I'm doing what I desire to do. But that number for you to call in is 214 214- Five five six six two three nine. Again, that number is two one four. Five five six six two three nine. Just let us know that you've been out there listening in and you're being blessed. I got a caller. Hold on. Hi, you tuned in to the Cassandra Brown Real Talk. Who do we have on the air? This is Lady P. I just wanted to say I've really been blessed by what has been spoken today, and I have just received uh, even a greater revelation. Mm-hmm. So Hallelujah. I do appreciate uh, you, Harlan, for being on the show. We want to have you back. And you really gave w- wise words of wisdom to many people in relationships, both men and women. True. And we uh, appreciate that. And people have just lost the, the value of humanity in relationships just in general there's no value of anything yeah, that's right so uh, when we know our value then we know our worth Absolutely. so i just want you to know we appreciate what you've spoken and uh what truth it's been revealed to god be the glory thank you so much for your encouragement thank you for the lady p and your word spoken was so so right Absolutely. when we know our value we'll know our worth that's right and when we have greater wealth worth concerning ourselves a whole lot of stuff we wouldn't put up with we won't take down for anything i mean really and i just choose not to i've been raised by a woman of god that is very strong and it wasn't that she even raised our foundation and start on uh the bible but every though we went in church early on and um uh, our growing up but it the way she raised us it backed what I guess the word that she had in Sunday school or what she got, you know, when she went to church, it lined up with Amen. a lot of that. And it wasn't based on her plopping the Bible out and saying, thus said the Lord. Yeah. It was just how she raised us. And one thing she did raise us with is our wealth, really? our, our, wor- our wealth and worth, uh, what we're worth and, and, and our value concerning ourselves. And God and says I, we're priceless. I promise you. He and I appreciate that. Low self-esteem is an issue, a major issue that has a lot to do with a lot of the crime and the things that we see that people are going through and doing. It's all behind it, it, people knew the the, the, the the multitude of how great and awful this this low self esteem spirit is. Mm-hmm. You have people being prostituted on the streets and turning their money over because of low self esteem. You have people trying drugs for the first time because they want to be they want to be part of a clique. Right, right. Uh, you know they doing a lot of things behind low self esteem. Right. And I mean, I'm thinking that 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 demon. I live to uh, murder it. I, Absolutely. To, 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 ass- assassinate it out Absolutely. of people's lives because it's the father of a whole lot of things. Absolutely. Yes, uh, Lady P, I appreciate you for calling in. Thank you for sharing what you said was so rich and so Absolutely. well. And you, Thank man you of God, so you have blessed and helped a whole lot. Like, like I said, Copy that that I am doing, you have even given me energy, motivation to even take it up to another notch, Praise another God. level. Because um, the things that you say, we perish for what we don't know. Absolutely. And and women don't know they have a tag on them. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, I look at some uh, some friends and I think, well, they they really a good person. They really good to their men, and right. they're good. Da 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 da. Why is it that no one is choosing them as wives? Right. And then then you bring it out. Well, it got a lot to do with the different stuff. Absolutely. And and, I, and I'm I'm one true believer. Uh, now you know when you step to me what you wanted me for. Absolutely. So does. let's not play games. It's, and that's and that's what we have to not do is allow people to play games with our reality from the pulpit to the streets. All the way, all the way. Uh, again, that number for you to call in real quick is 214-556-6239. Again, that number is 214-556-6239. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read text and everything that's going on. Wow. Um, uh, what about rejection? I mean, how should we take rejection as women as well as men? Because I I, I found out men are really uh, 
more they just as sensitive as women when it comes to rejection but you know men actually cannot take rejection exactly. as well as women can right but this is the thing you know when we talk about rejection what's actually happening here you know and we look at it as though it's a bad thing you know mm. if if you're rejecting me then you you know you you're doing me a favor god is protecting you're, you're telling me up front that you can't handle me amen <laughs> and so you know so i rather you do that amen. so i would rather somebody object reject me up front mm-hmm. and the you know the, the and, inside after you didn't got into me and yeah you know i didn't got into you and this is what we're doing and right. this is what we do that's the wrong time to pull that that card and don't 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 think that it's something that's bad about you or that it's a bad thing okay See, the thing is is that you know we we have we live in a world now where we have all this social media mm-hmm. and people can post stuff immediately right mm-hmm. and so we have all of these things out here that's telling us hey if you see a, you know all these tv shows hey if you see somebody and you guys you know you feel like you got a connection it's okay to have sex you know that right then and there you don't even know their name <laughs> just rip each other's clothes off and go at it right well that's the spirit that's in the world it is a seducing okay? spirit so what that means is guys is that you know if you talk if you're out there in the dating world and i can't tell you guys where to go you know you have to you have to use good good wisdom and you can't think that you're going to go to all the wrong places and find all the right things you know you have to use wisdom all you have to do is live and live you know live you know and fun does not equal sin sin does not equal fun Fun mm-hmm. is not something Fun means I can tell you about it If I have to keep it a secret It wasn't fun That means people are not supposed to know Which means it's not, I shouldn't be doing it Because see that that is rightfully so Is in the light And I can mm-hmm. tell people about it But that that's in the dark I want it to be hidden And so if it's not If I can't tell you about it It wasn't really fun It wasn't really nothing So stop lying you know Stop mm-hmm. telling people that mm-hmm. And so what you're doing Is you're being tricked And you're tra- and most people are prostituting their, their selves mm-hmm. there, It's not you, you know people talk about pimps And stuff like that You don't see pimps out on the corner no more they, they, they still exist but see that's not the most dangerous one you pimping yourself you don't even have a pimp and you out here giving your body away for free mm. men and women pimping their own selves you prostitute your own self and then we have preachers that are prostituting grace mm. so we have a whole problem here we have a problem going on all around, you know, and you, guys, you people have to stay with the word of God. That's why it's good to know God, you know, for yourself. for yourself. I mean, really, not not in word. I mean, really know him. And you know if you know him, because <laughs> if you have any fear or uh, any doubt whether or not if you would go to heaven, if you left this earth right now, then you don't know him like you should. Because you should know that when you know when you have him, you are secured. But what I want to say about rejection is the fact that rejection, uh, if you have not given your body, there's no problem. But if you've given out everything and then he rejects you and then you, then you go to the doctor and find out you're pregnant, now we have a problem. We have a situation now. <laughs> this man has rejected you. If he rejected you before you told him you had a baby, he's certainly going to run for the hills after you let him know that there's one. He did not mean to plant that seed. He wanted his 15 minutes of fame. He wanted his title without the fight. He wants you to say he's a good lover and then he want to run off and do whatever he want to do. That's what boys do. They play with toys and then they throw them down and they run away. Real men or real women don't do that. Women don't want to go up and play with the man's heart. They don't want to do that. So rejection is simply saying, you're not the one. You don't need to be in my life. So guys, we can. it's not a problem if we have not given anything out. So all I have to do then is just say, okay. Delete well, the number. Yeah, like that, just delete the phone number. <laughs> and then, okay, well, hey, I'm glad, you know, good to know that. <laughs> right. we, okay, guys, if we start dating and we start courting, if we realize, hey, you know what? We, you know, we cool in some areas, but I don't think we gel. Right. We're not going to work out. There's not a problem. It's not you a problem. You shouldn't be hurt behind that. But when you look at it, if you're hurt, you're taking this the wrong way. Mm-hmm. You've fed something in your mind into this mm-hmm. that has said that you should get more out of it and you shouldn't. Rejection can be a great thing if you haven't given anything away. And if somebody rejects you, good, let them go. They didn't deserve you. And, and then too, uh, uh, too, and if you look at it this way, see when you look, when you change the way you look at things, the way you look at things, it change. And if you look at rejection as God protection, and hey, just slap God high five and say, hey, another one bite the dust. Let's let's keep it. You moving. keep it moving, and keep you are moving. undamaged. Amen, undamaged. Because what you're not gonna make me is some damaged goods. And that's not, and that's not what we want. And y'all know what they do with the canned goods that got the. Not what? In them. They don't want to pay full price for it. <laughs> They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna pay full price. <laughs> you paying full price for this? Okay. Well, we're winding down. We're getting ready to close out. What is 
What is it that you want the listeners to know or to hear? You know what, guys? I wrote this book because God put it in my heart to... I have a passion for helping people. This particular book is is designed towards you, woman, and it is great for men too. I'm I'm writing a book right now called Man Up, Pride Down for Men, and you know I'm working on several books. I'm working on one about intimacy. Most people don't know what that is. They think it's a f- you know this little one little thing. It's so much more than that. So I want you to understand that. God loves you so much that he said you're priceless. I'm going to step out of heaven, put myself in a woman's body, birth myself so that I can pay for your sin mm. because only my blood can do this. So God in heaven, he don't have blood. He's a spirit. So he had to give himself blood by creating himself in the person of Jesus Christ to die for your sins. He said that you are so worth it that I'm willing to give my life, give my blood to save you. He says you're priceless. So I want what you what I want you to understand is that all of you men women you boys and girls you are priceless there is nothing on this earth that god did not do for you and you have everything you need and that your worth is not another person your identity your worth is in christ and i want you to know that he loves you so much that he doesn't want you to waste one second of your life with things that are trying to destroy you he only wants you to seek after him recognize him Surrender to him, follow him, and he will lead you and order your steps. I just want to help people live purpose, plan, and destiny. Get out of your own way and let God have his way. I love you, but God loves you more. God's excited about your future. So am I. All right, then. You heard it right here from the Cassandra Brown Real Talk. Allow this not to be your last time tuned in because we're here every Thursday putting out information that will cause your life to be forever changed and never the same in Jesus' name. So we thank God for what it is we've heard. We thank God for what it is he's doing. And we thank God for the chains that have fallen off of our ways of doing things that we may see something different. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm Cassandra B. with Cassandra Adoption is a gratifying journey. Open your heart in your home and embrace your thoughts of becoming foster parents. The time is now to show you have what it takes. Go to makeadifferenceathome.com. The Mentor Network has been creating families since 1980, reuniting at-risk youth with their families and transitioning adolescents into the community. We believe there is no such thing as unwanted children. They're simply unfound families. Let the Mentor Network lead you on your passage to adoption. Visit makeadifferenceathome.com today. Let's change lives together. On fishbowlradionetwork.com. Jump in.